Good morning, everybody. This is Kim Danke coming to you live from the Shibola Studios in Kennesaw, Georgia. Today is Thursday, January 14th, 2021. We're 14 days in to the 365. Yesterday I said 366. I guess I thought it was leap year. 365 day game of life, the 2021 edition. And I hope that you are playing well. Let's play to win. And when you hop on here this morning, if you don't mind, please say good morning, where you're watching from, and what type of Shibboleth day you are declaring for yourself today. I am having an intermittent fasting day. I'm doing the 21-day challenge. And, you know, I think, yeah, I told y'all yesterday that on Tuesday night, you know, I was weary. I was tired. I was fatigued. But even though those things can happen and we can have those feelings where to not give up. Yesterday, I didn't feel weary, tired, and fatigued, but there is something going on with me and I feel like I need a few little changes to go on. So sometimes we have to make some edits and some changes in our life. And um, so this morning, I did not want to get up. And well, there's two reasons. I'm wanting to add something to my life, and I was talking about it with somebody last night, but that thing that I want to add to my life can possibly help me with my desire to not go to the grocery store and cook and things like that. So anyway, we'll talk more about that as I go through it. But then last night, my dad called and told me that he tested positive for the COVID coronavirus yesterday. He's 77. Well, he will be on the 25th of this month. And so, you know, I didn't sleep well. Now, of course, I know that um, everything is in God's hands and his symptoms started on Monday and they are sore, sore throat and then joint aches and body aches. His wife tested negative. So we'll see what the two day tests come back. I'm hoping that it comes back that it was a false positive and he doesn't have it. Because the, the symptoms that he has are the muscle aches, the joint aches and the really bad sore throat. So. Of course, I'm going to bed thinking about this other thing, and then now this thing, and I didn't sleep well last night. Also, I'm doing, I'm reading the Bible in 120 days, and I'm in Leviticus, and Leviticus, I don't know if anybody ever said, let's do a Bible study on Leviticus. Anyway, um, it's, <laughs> I say that in, in you know, humor, but I didn't want to wake up this morning and have to go read Leviticus. So I was putting it off. I was putting it off. So I thought, well, what else could I do? Okay, you could skip Leviticus and go back to that in the end. Okay, that'll get you motivated. But I did I did go back to church last night. Um, our church has started back in-person Bible studies. So I went there last night and I started this Bible study. And I thought, well, let me get up and do that. And then I decided, well, why don't you get ready first? Because you always do your Bible study first. Well, I always do Bible study first because I get distracted after I get ready. And, yep, I'm already distracted. I've talked to so many people this morning via Marco Polo, like family members and stuff. And and I've already had breakfast, which I normally don't eat breakfast until 8 o'clock and not 7 o'clock. And, anyway, so I am just like, okay, Lord, something new is going on. But this morning, I was laying in that bed. And the thing that kept running through my head is, the spirit is willing. I wanted to get up, but the flesh is weak. I did not want to get up. So I had to propel. I had to propel myself out of bed. And it's going to be a great day. And I'm, I'm going to have an intermittent fasting perfect day and everything. But we all go through this. We all go through this at times. And one of the things that I remember that Travis said in the very, very beginning of me joining Shibboleth was you have to forget everything that you thought you knew about nutrition and take this as truth. And I said, okay, fine. Cause I came in with a lot of preconceived notions cause I was a health seeker. I'd always sought out what you should and shouldn't be eating. That was good for you. And, um, but none of those things ever helped me lose any weight. And so I took him at his word and it worked. So let's talk about that real quick. The Lord, this is from my Bible study last night. Y'all are going to get some Bible study stuff. The Lord talked to Samuel instead of um, the priest. So the Lord, in a nation of adults, God was looking for the simplicity of a child. 
So if you are brand new, if you are brand, brand new, please take Travis at his word and, and forget anything that you thought you knew about nutrition and just do this, apply this, okay? Um, and then a couple of things I wrote last night is, who is better off? The one who thinks he's holy, like that um, Pharisee who was saying, thank God I'm not like other people, or the one he knows he needs a savior, the tax collector when they were paying. And it was like comparing it to a toddler and an infant. The toddler thinks that he has it all together anymore and he doesn't need his parents at all, okay? But the infant depends on the parent for everything. And so, why am I going there? I think it's just the fact that we need to make sure that we, we're willing to listen to God and hear what God has to say. Um, oftentimes, we make things complicated when he's really just seeking a childlike faith. So if you are having any troubles learning the lifestyle, if you're on here and you're new and you're having any troubles learning the lifestyle, I want you to have that childlike faith in this. Just forget anything that you thought you knew. But the word that I'm going to today is humble. We have to humble ourselves because we have to say, yeah, I don't know everything. If I knew everything, I wouldn't be in the spot that I am. And I need to go the other way in weight loss and health. So, so anyway, that was that. <laughs> Let me see who said stuff, people. People who said stuff. I'm, I'm sorry, y'all. Um, Amy Carpenter, good morning from Ohio and perfect IMF day. Good morning, Kristen, an IMF day in Kennesaw. And she's up early to get the kids off to co-op co -op classes this morning. She homeschools her kids. Marla, good morning, a perfect day in Canton. Hey, Ron, Lilburn, Georgia, perfect day. Perfect day in Dalton, Polly. Melba Smith, hey, from Ella J, having a perfect day, welcome. Good morning, Melissa Johnson from Chatsworth, a perfect day. Hey, Cheryl from Clarksville, Georgia, IMF Day. Angela Cope, Rossville, Georgia, perfect day. Good morning, Tammy King, another perfect day here in Ohio. Let's see, good morning, everyone, says Michelle, IMF Day, Carrollton, Georgia. I had a strategic planning meeting yesterday and had to watch on replay. I missed everyone. Well, we're glad you watched on replay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for sharing, Kristen. I appreciate it very, very much. Good morning, Diane. Thank you for sharing, too. She's going to have a perfect day. Thank you, Melissa. Thank y'all for praying for my dad. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, Tammy, Leviticus, I totally get it. I get Leviticus. Leviticus is saying we can't keep up with all of that. It truly shows us a need for a Savior. So I totally get Leviticus, but when you have to hear about them cutting the fat off of all of these organs and these lobes and that lobes and all that. You're like, <laughs> I don't want to wake up and read all of that this morning. <laughs> um, thank you, Michelle. I appreciate that. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Beth. Thank you. Um, yes, I know. I know it's true, Marla. Yep. We got to have that. The mind of a child, a child and the word that the Bible uses is the word that in Greek or something like that is equivalent to an infant that we really need to have that childlike, childlike, I mean, baby-like faith and not make it too complicated. Um, perfect. Okay, Wanda. Awesome. Wanda's having a perfect day to add to the last two. That means you're an EFB today. EFB, baby, from Dalton, Georgia. We're so glad that you are here. Okay, so I have been doing the, the app called The Word For You Today. And that's an app that I have. My church provides it. I think you have to pay for it, if, but my church provides it. Um, and it's day five on fear. So that may be why some, you know, reading about fear and different things is on my mind. I am not a fearful person by nature, except for the things that make me step out of my comfort zone. That's like going to the grocery store and cooking. Um, so... But you know what? I think the Lord is putting those things on my mind to help other people grow too because I'm such a teacher. I mean, I've always wanted to be a teacher and I only enjoy making those cooking shows because I think I'm helping somebody and I have gotten great feedback on that. So I appreciate it and I want to get better and better at it. So I got to step out of my comfort zone in those areas and learn to like the scavenger hunt at the grocery store when you're looking for that one random thing and can't find it. All right, so today's verse is, the Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? 
An old adage says, fear makes the wolf bigger than he is. It exaggerates the problem. And as a result, you expend valuable energy in ways you shouldn't. For example, sometimes you avoid things that can't really harm you at all. Let's read that again. Sometimes you avoid things that can't really harm you at all. Sometimes people avoid having their first perfect day. That can't harm you at all. Like the man who returned to his vacation cabin from a hike badly scratched and bruised. What happened? His wife asked. I met a snake on the trail. He answered, don't you remember? His wife responded. The park ranger told us yesterday that none of the snakes up here are poisonous. And the, the man said, they don't have to be poisonous if they can make you jump off a 20-foot cliff. Clearly, the man's fear, not the snake, was the problem. Charles Spurgeon once said, anxiety does not empty tomorrow of its sorrows, but today of its strengths. As long as you allow fear to take the wheel, you'll never go where God wants to take you or discover and develop the talents he has placed within you. And here's the great thing. God will help you to confront and conquer the fears that are controlling you. David, the giant slayer, author of Psalms and Israel's beloved king, often found himself with his back to the wall. Writing about such an occasion, he said, Make haste to help me, Lord. Be blessed to deliver me. But David knew who to turn to. The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When God is the source of your strength, you can face your worst fears and overcome them. So the thing that I want to go back to right here is as long as you allow fear to take the wheel, you'll never go where God wants to take you or discover and develop the talents, the talents he has placed within you. I just think that is the best because I like... Um, to learn things. And again, in this Bible study, I go back and forth into all sorts of things. The thing I highlighted this morning was childlike curiosity stimulates continued growth. You know, as we grow and we get older, it's always been recommended that people stay busy doing things to keep their mind active. And it's the ones that don't do that that tend to... Um, uh, dwindle down quicker and that type of thing. So this childlike curiosity um, stimulates continued growth. So, you know, I'm into growth. I'm a growth person. Let's, let's see what we can do to grow. And in my mind, what better ways could it be to practice, practice what we're learning in Shibboleth and grow in that area of self-discipline, grow in that area of the chemistry, and I'm not, I'm, don't, let my, don't let that word scare you because many people don't like chemistry, but food, the way that food works together, the science of food, it's really just chemistry. It really is, but it's easy chemistry, and we get to have fun trying it out and seeing what we like. I mean, it's, it's a blessing. It's a blessing. So I want everybody to, um, to just adopt this, there's nothing to fear by living the Shibboleth lifestyle in a way that is following the guidelines. There's nothing but good at the end. Nothing but good at the end. So I want you all to do that. Let's see. Um, yeah, Michelle, you are right. We are, most of us are out of our comfort zone right now with also what's going on in this nation too. There's so many things. Hey, Carolyn, Lindsay, I hope you're still on here. Um, and Beth says she's got to get skinny for the wedding. Yeah, that's awesome, Beth. That's awesome. You have got a really big why. And let me just tell you what. You're going to have fun doing it. I have a, I, I um, signed up a girl, Cherie Beasley, um, recently. She was already a Shibboleth member, but she'd let her membership lapse. And then we connected at a networking meeting and she got back on it. And um, why am I telling you this story? Oh, we were talking last night and she said, I cannot believe how much fun this is. I love my little timing chart, my little timing chart. I got a flame today. So y'all have fun with it. And Beth, just have so much fun with it because if you apply it, it'll work and you'll be skinny for that wedding. That's a blessing. Fear not, for I am with you, Polly says. That's right. That's right. Awesome. Humble ourselves. Thank you. Thank you, Tammy. Thank you. Thank you all for your encouragement. Oh my goodness. Okay. I got you. I didn't know that. Thank you for explaining that connection because I was wondering my, my Michelle was saying that. So awesome. Um, 
Melba, yeah, ooh, squirrel, squirrel is right. <laughs> but I seem to manage it all in the end. How many of you start one project and go over to another project in your house and then you start another one? But by the end of the day, they're all done. But okay, well, congrats on that wedding coming up. I look forward to being with y'all as you prepare for that wedding. That is gonna be awesome. All right, well, we're gonna hop off of here today, but when we get off of here, I want you to go directly, directly to your journal. I want you to declare your day so that you can have your mindset set that that's what you're gonna do, and then you make it a perfect day. And then, if you are watching on replay, please type in hashtag Shaboleth for his glory. And I hope you all have a blessed and wonderful and perfect day.